Kids Cook Real Food, Katie Kimball here for the Healthy Parenting Connector, where every week we strive to connect parents who really want to raise healthy kids with experts who have the information they need. Today, I am so very, very pleased to introduce you to my good friend, Audrey Weidman, who I know through our Stress Mastery Educator training, and we're going to talk about movement, but not quite in the way you expect. Thanks for being here, Audrey. Oh, thank you for inviting me. So let me introduce you all to Audrey a little bit. Um, she is, she's, she is, has become a friend and is a certified stress mastery educator from just over the pond from me in Chicago. And her mission is to show women who have had heart attacks the path of holistic recovery. So she talks a lot about stress, self-talk, food, exercise, and sleep. And this is her passion because believe it or not, she is a heart attack survivor. Um, and this story blew my mind when I heard Audrey tell it because she's thin, she's active, she eats right, she had no blockage. You'll hear, you'll hear about this. I shouldn't tell her story. Audrey's going to tell her story. <laughs> um, but she's really passionate about this because heart disease in women is, is like a silent killer. It kills more people, more women than all cancers combined. And it's preventable, but it's all about education. So outside of that, Audrey has such a passion for life. She's a big adventure person outdoors, cooking, yoga, gardening, um, has been married to the same wonderful guy since 1989 and blessed with two amazing daughters who are taking the world by storm. And they're, they're in their young adults kind of tackling the world, aren't they, Audrey? Yeah, they sure are. This, it's so fun. This is so fun. So I tried to, I, sorry, I tried to tell your story, but I want you to tell your story about why relieving stress is so important to you. Yeah. Well, about uh, four years ago, I got some news from my doctor that I was sort of dreading that my cholesterol was creeping up and that I really ought to go on statins. I didn't want to do that. And so I got very, very serious about my diet and what I was eating and happy to share that I successfully reduced my cholesterol by 40 points. I lost 12 pounds of belly fat, but I wasn't really overweight to begin with. It's just that I became, you know, a lot more fit. And I did take, you know, exercise and everything into account as well. But then nine months after I had successfully completed that, I actually had a heart attack. And the type of heart attack that I had is actually the most prevalent kind of a heart attack for women under 50. And that would include, you know, your listeners, because when women undergo hormonal changes, such as like, you know, in their third trimester or immediately after birth, and sometimes even during birth, a type of a heart attack called a SCAD spontaneous coronary artery dissection can happen. And that's where you develop a tear in your arterial wall. And a lot of times um, there's some genetic component to it, but mostly it is due to stress. I mean, we all know having children that having children is actually quite stressful. And you might be thinking about, you know, all kinds of things, but stress, if you don't pay attention to it, it can literally kill you. And, uh, you know, my body found a way to, to do that almost. Um, but I had, when they went in with the angiogram, there was no plaque in my arterial walls. So really thoughts are very, very powerful and you have to be careful what you think and really, um, you know, take care of the stress that you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Now, you're a mom, as we said, of two lovely young adult women. Do mm -hmm. you look back and wish that when you were in the trenches and the thick of parenting that you would have done anything differently when it comes to stress mastery? Oh, for sure. Um, what I would say is that I should have been more in the moment. I was the ultimate multitasker. And if you don't know that this yet, multitasking is actually a very inefficient way to get things done. It's much better to get one thing done at a time. And then I wasn't really present. And you know what, when you're not really present, your children know that you're not really present. And so I wish if I had gone back, I would have evaluated what was really more important and just honed in on being there undivided 
it doesn't mean that all of my attention goes to all my to my children all the time but when i'm with them i want to be completely present mm -hmm. and i would say that's you know something i'm definitely continuing to work on we've got a lot of distractions but i'm much more mm -hmm. present than i used to be i love that and you know i mean we've all heard that this is not like revolutionary but dang it do we have to hear it over and over and over because we might hear be present in the moment appreciate it and then we do it for like 12 hours right and then we just get back into our multitasking habits and I, I'm saying our because I just assume everyone is weak like me I don't know like I need to hear this at least once every three days so thank mm -hmm. you for that reminder from someone who's who's through it and really has that perspective of looking back um now let's talk a little bit about how stress really shows up differently for people in their bodies, which you know means that it should be released differently in various people. Yeah, and I think even within the same person, sometimes stress is different. Like totally. usually one of my first things is like, um, I notice a tightness in my shoulders. And when it continues- Like I'm totally know. just doing that, like crack <laughs> pop. <laughs> I know. Uh, one of the other things I know that when it's been going on too long, I get the twitchy eye. Have you ever had the twitchy eye where it just keeps kind of like twitching? That is like a definite signal for me to stop and, and uh, shift gears. But usually I, I get it when I, I've gotten into a habit of taking these little stress breaks. I used to think that I was too busy to go around the block to take the dog for a walk or just get up and get away. Like it only takes one more thing to, to finish this on the computer. I got to finish it. But a lot of times it's just so much better. You can think clearer and just be more productive by taking these little breaks and you'll be refreshed, recharged, re-energized and come up with more creative ways of doing things. Nice. Yeah, that's so important. And I, again, you're speaking like with my mouth, like I just finished one more thing. I don't want to, if I walk out of this room, someone will ask me to do something. So <laughs> I have to stay here and finish or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, totally. So now we're going to talk about movement. And when a lot of people hear movement, they're like, oh, that's just like a gentle word for exercise and burning calories. Right. But it's totally not like, so, so first of all, in a minute, we're going to talk about how movement is different than just exercise. But for you, why is movement so tied to stress? Well, it's a way of getting in your body and out of your mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we're not stressed because of physical stress. It's all what's happening here between the ears. And so for me, I just like getting into my body so that I can focus on, on that and get out of my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and is it fair to say, I mean, we just talked about like some signs of stress and they, they happen in our body, right? The stress mm -hmm. can start in our head, shows up in our body so we can help release it mm -hmm. by doing things with our body, which is pretty powerful, partly because I, I think it's a lot easier to like control my body than it is to control my mind. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of your favorite movement related stress releases or recharge techniques? Well, one of the things I'd like to uh, let you all know about is um, this woman who seems kind of kooky. Her name is Donna Eden. You can find her on YouTube, uh, Donna Eden's Energy Medicine. And is one of my go-to, like, in my body kind of stress relievers. And it actually would be really fun for kids to do as nice. well. Because what she does is she... Uh, releases energy trapped in various meridians in your body and some of the things I presented about this to my local cancer support center and everybody loved it because it was so it's not like go and meditate because a lot of us with the monkey minds that's the last thing we want to hear right we don't want to meditate because we're already having problems but you can meditate a lot better after you do this mm. so she's got a uh, seven minute morning energy routine. And I'll just show a couple of the things that um, you can do while you are um, trying to release stress. And one of the easy things is, um, you know, if you do the cross crawl, you take your left hand and touch your 
write me and uh, you know continue to do that like this and what it does is it helps to integrate your right brain with your left brain and uh, just kind of brings everything back into um, alignment and you can do that for like maybe 25 minutes and if you have you know a child that's doing homework and is just fidgety this is a super great thing to burn off a little bit of energy but they'll get back in in center did you did you say 25 minutes uh 25 times Sorry. oh good you said minutes i'm like oh, minutes. no 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 <laughs> <laughs> she must have spoken. okay 25 yeah. times that's perfect 25. yeah thanks yeah. for and, catching that and teachers i know teachers have done stuff like this i think there used to be a program called brain gym where any anytime you're crossing those center lines of your body yeah you're connecting your right and left brain so it's super helpful for focus and concentration and right. apparently stress which is fabulous yeah there's another one that's really easy to do. If you put your, um, your finger in your belly button on one hand, like take your left middle finger, put it in your belly button, and then your right middle finger here between the eyebrows. And when you do this, you are aligning meridians that help improve concentration. So if you're feeling particularly scattered and words aren't coming to you, if you do this, it's also very, very helpful. This is part That's of That's it, just touching. Like there's no yeah. like you you kind of pull up in your belly button. You pull up in your belly button mm -hmm. and you kind of pull up this way. So you're you've got an upward pressure kind of, but that's it. And another one, because I we've talked a lot about heart math and the inner balance device, which kind of tells you how coherently you're thinking. Mm -hmm. When I'm particularly incoherent, or sometimes I just do this to kind of see how these movements affect my coherence, I will uh, do this thing called the um, crown pull. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my fingers and literally there's, a, in your skull, it's fused together here. And yep. what you're doing is you're pulling that along all the way to the back. You can start here in the front and then just by doing that, I can see my coherence go up. So it's very, very easy. And there's a total of like, uh, I don't know, 14 things that you can do quickly. Another great one is when you uh, put your arm up kind of like an Egyptian. And we can do a picture of this later. Mm -hmm. You put your arm up flat like this and your other arm down like this, going to the ground. And what you're doing is you're stretching along your side and you're letting energy come in from through your palm and go down to your other palm. So that's really easy to, to do this stretch and it feels really great. Mm -hmm. And these so. are super easy to teach children. You could probably even give them funny names, you know, and all kids love touching their belly buttons, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I think that one is called, uh, what is it called? The um, heaven and earth. And then there's um, another one, heaven rushing in, which is a typical like praise thing where you're, outside looking at you know the sky or inside looking up and just allowing energy to flow into your body it's a typical prayer position mm -hmm. of praise and when you say energy like just to clarify because i know we have a lot of christians in our audience and and i am myself and so i always i always get a little uncomfortable when i hear that like is this mm -hmm. inviting some sort of like new age or whatever like this could be you could be praying as well like the motion is not tied to any existential being oh right well if your audience is familiar with chakras for example like we as human beings are energetic beings we have a whole electromagnetic field around us and disease happens when you get blockages in those energy fields just because we can't see the energy mm -hmm. doesn't mean it isn't there. It was just like you listen to the radio or you see TV, it's transmitted via energy. And our nerves and our nervous system, it is energetic. And so by doing these exercises, you're just really unblocking meridians, unblocking the plexuses of nerves that go up and down our body and just allow the energy to flow. Because Got it. So it science, true. this is science, not religion. No, no. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's kind of like um, stretching a muscle, but you're, you know, stretching and releasing your energetic pathways.
Mm -hmm. So do you have any recommendations for families to try to set up like just a, a family culture of movement as a stress release strategy and set up habits? Well, that's, that's kind of interesting. You know, you can do, uh, if bedtime is an issue for your, the kids, a lot of, you can go to some of the more, um, I guess, passive yoga poses, such as child pose, or, you know, um, you can put your, lay on your back and put your feet up against the wall to allow the energy again to flow down back into your uh, body and just be grounded so that it, it just calms you down. Mm. Those are some interesting like bedtime things, but I think if you have a particular time where you notice your kids are really energetic, like um, maybe between when they get home from school and before you start with dinner, uh, you know, doing this, looking up Donna Eden's energy, uh, morning, morning energy routine on YouTube would be a great way just to get the, the wiggle jiggles out and, and just kind of uh, you know, set a whole more positive tone, but not go crazy. You know, it's not like you're having them revving them all up. You're just right. balancing them. So it's a different kind of a movement. Sure. And what I like about these is that they're really tiny and it's not all about like find a half an hour and do this exercise routine as a family. You know, it doesn't have to be that structured. It doesn't have to be that long. I could see saying, okay, everybody cross crawl to the bathroom to wash your hands before dinner, right? Get them on the yeah. floor before they wash their hands yeah. or, you know, during homework, doing that scalp pull. What did you call it? Yes. Yeah. The crown pull. Crown pull. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, okay, Kings yeah. and Queens, we're going to sit down and do homework already pull your pull your brain down so that you can use it you know and just simple simple stuff and you know teaching kids some of these techniques for before a test if they're mm -hmm. feeling anxious too the would hookup be great. would be really good too that just helps to ground you and, and improve your focus mm -hmm. and super easy to do in class mm -hmm. without anyone noticing right. at all Right. Um, so that's great. So Audrey, I love to leave parents at the end with a super practical step, like one thing they can do right away. So if you were to say, okay, busy, stressed out mom, what's one thing you do today before you go to bed? What should it be? It's not movement related at all. It's <laughs> that's focusing, okay. I'll let you do it. <laughs> it's focusing on gratitude. Nice. Thinking about three things that you are grateful for. I would have the kids, like you can pray, uh, to, that you are thankful for, for whatever blessings happened in your day. So you're scanning your day and you are thinking of what really was the good that happened today. And then, you know, you leave feeling happier and uh, just you go to sleep on that happy note. And it's mm -hmm. actually proven there's a positive psychology movement that actually has been around now for several decades, but it's proven that if you practice gratitude like that, three things every night, you will become a much happier person. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's cool brain science. Like from what mm -hmm. I understand, it kind of trains your brain yeah. looking back at today, trains your brain to see the positive more readily in tomorrow, mm -hmm. yeah. which is great. So we all want to raise optimistic kids. Yes. And that's easy to do. That. Three yeah. things. What were the three great things that happened today? Mm -hmm. I always make my husband do that. If he, he gets particularly cranky at night, like when he's up a little too late, like the whole day is terrible. Life is terrible. Everything is going wrong suddenly, right? In his mind, because he's tired. And I'm like, babe, you're not allowed to go to bed till you tell me three things you're grateful for. He's like, oh, <laughs> Katie, I don't want to. I'm like, nope, you have to. You're too cranky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's good so. for everybody. Yep, it is. It is good for everybody. Well, thank you for being good for all of us, Audrey Weidman. We, I really appreciate it. Where can people find you online? You can find me on my website, uh, AudreyWeidman.com. Mm -hmm. So we'll send people over there. And I so appreciate you being here. I appreciate all my stress mastery colleagues. It's been such a joy to get to know people from just different walks of life coming at stress from different angles. Um, so thank you audience for being here too. I will see you back next week for another episode of the Healthy Parenting Connector. I'm Katie Kimball for Kids Cook Real Food.